everyone welcome back to new content of cyber process in today's video we will discuss about the deferred revenue in odoo 18. in odoo 18 deferred revenue refers to the payment received from the customer for goods or services that have not yet been delivered or completed and this type of revenue is created uh, or recorded as a liability on the company's balance sheet because it represents as an obligation to provide the product or services in the future as the company fulfills these obligations over time, the deferred revenue is gradually recognized as income on the profit and loss statement. So we can just consider an example. Let's say a company sells one year software license for $1,200 and they invoice the customer immediately. It can recognize the entire amount as revenue upfront since the service will be provided over the next 12 months. Instead, the company records the $1,200 as deferred revenue and recognize $1,000 as a revenue each month for the next 12 months so to manage with the deferred revenue let's move on to the accounting module friend there we just need to um enable the uh, charts of accounts uh, by setting up the account that is the deferred revenue so let's move on to the charts of accounts and as you just search for the charts of accounts of deferred revenue uh, you can see that we have already created a deferred revenue it is having the type as current liability if you want to choose uh, the type as a uh, non-current liability it is also possible but the recommended uh, type for choosing the deferred revenue is current liability so once this is done now we can just move on to the configuration and under the configuration we have uh, the option to manage with the deferred revenue so let's move on to the and as you just drag down here you would be able to find a section to manage the uh, accounts so uh, let's move down and under um yeah under the default accounts here you can find the deferred def revenue so here we just gonna uh, choose uh, the journal here you would be able to find different journals that are available so i would like to choose the journal as miscellaneous operation and afterwards you can also set the deferred revenue over here so as you just move on to the internal, you, you can see that the type of the deferred revenue is current liability. And uh, we can uh, just back to the settings. And later on, under the accounts, you can see the other uh, changes. Uh, like we can generate uh, the bills on bill validation or based on manually and grouped. So let's move on with on bill validation. And we can also... Uh, choose the deferred entries based on months days or full month so for the time being i would like to choose based on months and let's set that so afterwards we have to consider the product in order to consider the product we can just move on to the customer and choose the product over here okay so from here we can uh, create a product called cust i mean uh, the um, software license so we also just need to ensure that we have properly provided the units of measurement and uh, let's move on to the uh, new and let's create a new product called software license and we have to choose the type as service and uh, in this case we also just need to set the price over here uh, so I'm going to set it as thousand two hundred dollar, and we know we will be considering a uh, hundred dollar for each um uh, each of the month. Now let's save this. So once everything is done, you can just move on to the customer invoices. Under the customer invoices, you can just click on new, and you can just fill out the details of the customer. Let's say the customer is Deco uh, Edict, and here we can just fill out the details of um like the invoice date and uh, i'm going to uh, choose the product which is software license so let's say the product is software license and once that's done you can find uh, the amount over here and now we just need to set the start date and end date as we just want to get the deferred uh, entries over here so i'm going to start the service from 1st january and it will be ending uh, by 31st december 2025 okay so okay, you, you can easily search from here by setting the date 
Now, as you just save this and click on confirm button, you can see that the deferred entries will be generated over here. Now, let's move on to the deferred entries and under the deferred entries, you can find how the amount will be directed for each of the month. So, for each month, it will be uh, taking hundred dollar and you can see how uh, that will be calculating now likewise we can also generate the grouped deferred uh, entries manually now as you just move to the reporting under uh, reporting we have a section to view of the deferred revenues and you can see that uh, the total amount is 1200 uh, for one year and for each month we will be uh, taking or uh, getting a profit of 100 and as we have only received the 100 dollar it will be marked over here and you can see later uh, once uh, this year is uh, completed that profit will be marked over there and the later will be turning into zero currently we have 11 months left uh, and uh, um, we just need to get 1100 from uh, here so this is marked under later likewise we can also manage the deferred revenue with the other option like manually and grouped so let me just move on to the accounts and let's change the um, option so here you can see currently we are generating the entries based on the bill validation now we just gonna manually and um, uh, do the grouping so once the changes are done over here in the general settings i mean in the configuration settings of the accounting module we have to uh, ensure that we have saved everything now let's move on to the customer invoices and i'm going to create a new invoice for the customer i'm gonna uh, choose a customer as rachel puri and you can just fill out the details over here so let's say that uh, the yeah bill that we are just going to create uh, in 2023 and you can also uh, set the date over here okay so i'm going to choose it choose it as first of 31 2023 now let me choose the item uh, which is a uh, software license itself and afterwards you can set the date over here okay so i'm going to set it as uh, the date of 2023 so you can easily uh, change it from the section and let me uh, choose that and afterwards yeah let's set the end date so here you can find the end date uh, as 31st december and let me choose that and let's see let's see this and let's confirm that and you can see that the deferred entries will be generated over here okay and once uh, this is done what we have to do is again we have to create another uh, yeah entry over here so let's uh, duplicate this so let me just duplicate the action and uh, here we can just change the date and amount i'm going to change the amount as 600 and let me choose the uh, date over here and we are just going to create the same bill in 2023 and you can also set the uh, yeah date afterwards you can also choose the start date and end date so i'm going to set it as 23 itself and uh, let's say that starts from january 31st and ends in uh, uh, 2023 january i am mean in december 31st so you can see we have done this so as i just confirm uh this you can see that from two invoices the amount will be calculated as 1800 okay so as you just move on uh to the account i mean reporting here you can find the deferred revenue now under the deferred revenue currently you can see it's filtered based on this month we just need to change the filtration and we have to change uh it into um uh, yeah 2023 so as i just move on to here you can see the uh change in the amount here i'm going to set it as uh, 2023 so in this case you can see that the total amount is set to 1800 because in one of the invoice we have just provided the amount as 1200 and in the other um uh invoice it's given as uh, just 600 so altogether it will be calculated as 1800.
and you can see in each uh, month we will be uh, having uh, an amount of uh, 100 over here and later uh, i mean uh, in the upcoming months we will be uh, gearing 1700 over there okay so as we change the date over here you can see the change in amount so as i just change it over here you can see before it was th uh, one not 1 1.82 and uh, in february uh, the amount is just changed and later you can find the change over here okay now let me change it as uh, march so again you can find the other change and uh, when we are just moving with different months over here you can find how we are just get profit and how the amount is just directing and we are marking it in the um, yeah report section so as you just move on to different months we are just getting the profits and incomes and that will be recorded over here and that's how we just deal with the deferred revenue uh, in uh, uh, Odoo 18 accounting module so that's all for today thank you for watching the video